Tired of having a super stiff clutch? Well, in today's video, we're gonna show you how to turn a super stiff clutch into one you can pull really easy. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for another video. And today we're gonna go ahead and turn a stiff clutch into one you can pull with one finger. So as you guys may be able to see, I literally can't even pull my clutch in here with one finger because it is so stiff. I at least have to use two before I can actually pull it in. And this thing is extremely stiff. And I know it should be able to pull with one finger with ease. Now, some of the reasons that you might have a stiff clutch could be that you're your cable is not lubed so you maybe you just need to lube your cable by spraying some lubricant down the cable and actuating the clutch cap cable a couple times and that'll free up your cable or you can go ahead and replace it now why is it important to have an easy pulling clutch is that it can give you some serious arm pump or for beginner riders that aren't that strong of a hand grip that can be hard to actuate the clutch now as you know if you're out indoor riding the importance of being able to have clutch control and being able to pull it in at a time's notice not to go launching off a ramp or off the edge of a cliff having a clutch that's easy to pull is super important and today we're gonna to show you on how to fix it and make this clutch pull super easy. Now, if you did want to just lube your cable, all you're gonna to wanna to do is unscrew it here from the actual clutch lever itself, and this will grant you access to the cable. So now that we've got our handguard piece off, and now you should be able to see the cable inside the end of the clutch lever. Here, we're gonna go ahead and just try and pull the cable out of the lever like so. Now, if you want to try and just lube this guy up without replacing it, you're gonna to wanna to put some lubricant down in the center of this hole and actuate this clutch a couple times and try and get any rust or corrosion to break free because that's why you have a sticky clutch is if this is rusty then you know it hasn't been lubricated enough and then you've got water down inside your clutch now for reference here's our brand new cable you can see how easily it just slides in and out of the casing which is exactly what you want you can see our cable is torn and we've got some fray cable here. Now, another reason your clutch could be stiff is that the pivot here inside the handle could be completely worn out, or if you've just worn through the side uh, of the metal ring, that could be your issue there. So you might need to replace your clutch lever. Now, on your more affordable style bikes, like our Honda XR100 that we are working on, this piece of metal here that slides up out and it spins inside of there. Now, if this has got gunked up in super old grease like mine does, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna clean this up and re-grease it with some fresh grease, and this thing's gonna pivot a whole lot better. So to clean out our clutch lever, and make the pivot nice and smooth and crispy. We're gonna go over and take our buddy Super Clean. Massive shout out to our friends over at Super Clean for sending out this product. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this. We're gonna spray this on here. Now, the reason we're using Super Clean is that this dissolves grease. Now, what is on the clutch lever? A whole bunch of grease. So we're gonna head to remove that to put on some fresh stuff. All right, now that we bought, got both of these nice and clean, they're nice and shiny here, as you guys can see, all cleaned up, no more old grease on them. We're gonna go ahead, take some of our friend, Never sees, and we're gonna apply a little bit of never sees on the inside of this guy here. And this is just gonna help keep friction to minimum and this free spinning. We'll go ahead and we're just gonna stick this guy back in its hole. It only does go in one way, so if it doesn't go in the first way, I'm gonna pop it in the other way, just like that. And that guy pivots a whole lot better than it ever did before. So there's that, we got our clutch lever fixed up. Now, if you do have more expensive levers on a more expensive bike, like a KTM or something, these might be pressed fit and uh, you're not gonna get it out that easily, but on the old Hondas, they make everything easy to work on. Now that we got our clutch lever all done and dealt with, let's go ahead and hop back over to the clutch cable. Now, something else to note is when you're installing a new cable, or if you have a bike that's had an aftermarket cable put on and you feel like it's too tough, another thing to look for is to make sure that the line doesn't have any sort of kinks in it. So if it's kinked, the cable's not gonna wanna slide through the casing very easily, and there could be also your issue of why you have a difficult to pull clutch. Now, if I wanna properly remove this and reroute the new clutch cable, we're gonna have to pull off some stuff to reroute it correctly. So this goes down here behind the number plate, goes down underneath the gas tank here, it goes in between the frame and the gas tank, and then it gets routed up into a clip here underneath the gas tank, and then it gets routed down around the carburetor and to the engine casing right here. Now to get access to the couple nuts that are on the end of the clutch cable, we're gonna have to go ahead, we need to pull off our exhaust, the fuel tank, and a couple pieces of plastic to get the rest of the exhaust off, including our seat and the rear kick panel. So the very first thing we're gonna do is make sure you guys turn your fuel off so you don't have fuel leaking everywhere when we go to take this fuel line off. So our first step to getting the gas tank off is gonna be taking the seat off, because that's how you get access to removing the gas tank. So we're gonna let's pull this seat off first and let's just go ahead and pop the seat off with some YouTube magic All right, just like that We've got our seat removed and now we have access to pull off this clip here Which will let us pull the tank off. So now that we've got our fuel make sure it's in the turned off position We should just be able to pull this line off and actually remove the tank without draining it. So we're gonna pull this guy off Just like so and then we got a couple bolts down here on both sides of the tank So let's go ahead and just pull the tank off with some YouTube magic like so 
boom. Okay, now we got the tank off. And once again, the reason we took the tank off is so that we can actually follow where our clutch line has gone. You can see here, and then you can see it actually wraps right down around and underneath the gas tank where the gas tank would be. So you definitely have to do this. And then it comes through to this rubber strap here. So it keeps it in place. And then it goes down and into this metal clip here on the frame. So you definitely need to pull the gas tank off. And now we can go ahead and pop this clip here out. And uh, then we can start pulling this stuff off. Go ahead and we'll just pop this clip out here. So, so now before I pull it all the way back out, I'm gonna start running our new cable right back through so it's routed the same way so we make sure that we don't kink it. So we'll grab our new clutch cable here. Now, the side that has the multiple nuts on it, this is the side that goes to the engine and the one that is just the cable goes up to the handlebar. So we're gonna go ahead and feed it through exactly how it had it prior, which is gonna be down through the number plate, comes down out between the right fork and the frame down here like so. Now we can see the big protective sheath comes down and goes underneath the gas tank. So we're gonna make sure when we slide this that the big thick sheath part of the clutch cable is exactly where it was on the original one. Like that. And you can see actually here there's a fairly, there's a kink right here in the line. Nonetheless, we're gonna go like that. That goes down in here just like so. Not to remove it from this clip that's on the frame, we're just simply gonna stick our thumb in there and we're just gonna slightly pry it outwards. We'll pull the electrical stuff out into the side. And then here's the original clutch cable. That guy can come out. Then we'll pull the rest of the top section out, like so. Now we got our old one dangling over here. We're gonna take the new one. And we're gonna stick it exactly how they had it. So we're gonna follow where the old one goes. Then we're gonna stick it back in the clip. I'm gonna grab the electrical components through there and inside the clip. And then we're just gonna pull it with our fingers and squeeze it back shut, just like so. And that's all done. Now we got the old one dangling off to the side and the new one's routed up exactly where the other one was. So now the reason that we need to pull the exhaust off is to be able to get to those two nuts there and be able to get a wrench onto those, which is not possible with the exhaust on. There is just no room to get a wrench in there. So we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna pull the two nuts that are off the front of the exhaust here that go into the front of the engine. And then there's, uh, we're gonna have to take this kick panel off. So there's a bolt here we're gonna pop out. And then there's two more nuts and bolts for or the exhaust up here in behind this plastic. So we're gonna head and let's just snap with some use to magic, the panel off and the exhaust off. All right, cool, that's off. And now we have access to these two nuts to remove the old clutch cable. So let's go ahead and start by loosening these two guys up right here. So to be able to remove the piece here out of it, all we're gonna do is pull this back up, push up with this finger here on the bottom of this to give it some slack like you can see there. And then we're gonna push this piece towards this frame and nut and bolt in the background. So we're gonna push up and over and boom, just like that. It's now free. Now we can go ahead and we're gonna slide this rubber boot down and we're gonna pull up on the rest of the clutch cable until it comes to the cable portion and then pull it towards me. And there we go, now our old cable is out. And yank them out from the other side. There we go, and now our old cable is completely disconnected and hanging out here. So now we can go ahead and do everything we just did in reverse and put the cab new cable back in. Grab our cable, and this is where it's important to note how it was routed originally and that you don't just take it out without seeing how it was properly ramped. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but in reverse. So that section goes there inside like that. Then we can pull it down like so. And then now to set these screws, which were like almost all the way up here, like so. And we gotta push the rest of this cable down. Now in this example for how like junk this old cable is, you guys saw before how easily the other one just kind of fell in. This one you gotta like forcefully shove through the cable to actually have it move. Now if you guys remember earlier when I showed you how difficult it was to pull this, now we can go ahead and I can pull it in with one finger. Now that is why we swapped out the clutch cable and greased up the pivot in here. And oh man, this thing is butter. So I hope you guys have learned how to replace your clutch cable, how to lube up the pivot point on your clutch, and uh, hopefully now you have an easier actuating clutch that's a whole lot easier to pull with one finger. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you go down below, click like, leave a comment, subscribe for more, ring the bell notification. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.